on. Okay, so we're gonna be transferring our lines from our grid into our larger grid, okay? But this is really overwhelming if I look at this entire picture and I just try to copy it. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be looking through a viewfinder, okay? And how you make one of these, super easy, all you have to do is somewhere in the middle of this piece of paper, measure one inch all the way around. So you're making a one inch box. Okay. And I'll complete it like that. All right, so there's my one inch box, okay? So all I did was I measured one inch all the way around and I made this box. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut out the box. Okay, so now I'm left with this. If this bothers you, you can take a small piece of tape and tape it closed, it doesn't matter, okay? So now I have my grid I've taken my transparency off of my photograph because it's easier to see that way, okay? All right, I can see all my lines really clearly when I have it off of the transparency, okay? So my next step then is to look through my viewfinder. This is my first box here and this is my first box on my grid, okay? Do I have any lines in this box? No, so I'm going to move to this box, which means I need to move to this box on my paper. I'm gonna take my viewfinder and I'm going to cover up everything else except for that box and all I'm doing is drawing exactly what I see in this box, just a few lines. So I've got a line that kind of comes up here, and then I've got a line that comes up and about right there. And I'm drawing super light, okay? Because we don't wanna see our outline when we're done shading. If you can see an outline when you shade, you're going to flatten your image and lose all of your illusion of form. We want our value to define our shapes, not lines. This is just a guide for when we start shading. So you should barely be able to see your drawing lines, just like your grid, okay? So next I'm gonna to move to this box, which is this box here. And sometimes I like to make kind of guide marks just so I know how high up something should come and where it should meet some edges. I've got something that kind of comes out like this over here and then I've got coming in there because I wanna make sure my proportions are the same. I'm not gonna draw it this tiny because this is a two inch box, not a one inch box, right? So I wanna to try to keep my proportions as best I can. Okay, so there's that line. Kinda of looks like that. Now is this gonna be exact? No, it's impossible. You do the best you can to get the general shapes. Okay, then I'm gonna move on to this box, which is this box here. And I've got something coming in here and it comes down here like that, okay. It's coming back up here and then almost touches the top, this edge here. So I wanna bring this line all the way up. Okay, and then this comes down past the halfway mark. So that's pretty low too. And then this comes up almost to the tippy corner, okay? And then I've got a little line coming in there. And then I've got this kind of pointy thing coming in here, okay? Do you see what I'm doing here? I am looking <coughs> at one box at a time. The reason why we do that is because our brain naturally wants to complete something. So if you've ever looked at a word that's missing letters and you're still able to read it, it's the same idea. 
So a lot of times what people will do, the mistake that they make and the struggle they have is when they look at an entire image, when they go to draw it, they change what's here because they're saying, well, it's supposed to be an eye, so I'm going to make it look like an eye. Okay? But then you're losing what you did here, and this is your guide for your values. So then you're going to be off from your photograph if you change what's here. Does that make sense? Okay. So we want to look at one thing at a time because I can I can draw these lines. What's inside this box is not overwhelming. If I try to do the whole entire thing, I get nervous. Okay? So one box at a time, super super light lines. This is too dark, okay? <laughs> so what I would do is I would just kind of go through and make sure that I've lightened them up a little bit. This only works if you didn't push hard. If you pushed too hard, you're going to have ghost lines and indentations and you're going to have to start over. Okay? So be aware, don't push hard to begin with and you'll be able to lighten it up okay. Okay? All right.